Hey guys, it's Joe again, and I'm going to go ahead and go over KVL with a dependent source. Um, I'm going to go over an easy way and then an easier way. So dependent source is uh, something like this where basically it's a voltage source, but it's dependent on something else. So in this case, the VO, which stands for your output voltage, your voltage out, which is down here. Basically, we want this source to be twice as much as the output voltage here. So basically I'll go over KVL and then the easier way, which would be the easy way, and then the easier way would just be doing a voltage divider, uh, which is probably a horrible thing to show you guys because it's a lot easier than what it's going to show in this instance. You probably won't understand, uh, but I'll go over it anyways. So if you don't understand it, just don't worry about it. I'll go over it in a more simple fashion later. Okay, so with this circuit, we will have KVL. Uh, basically, what we'll do is we'll, we have two, two things we need to solve for. Now, just so you know, this is in the fifth edition. It's example problem 2.6 in the uh, book of Fundamentals of Electric Circuits, fifth edition by Alexander. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. So we have minus 12 volts plus 4 times I uh, plus 2 VO uh, minus 4 volts and we got plus 6 times I is equal to 0. Alright so we got minus 12 and minus 4 is minus 16 and then we can move that to the right side so you got 16 minus 2 VO and that's equal to 10 I Okay, easy enough. Alright, so basically we know that uh, for VO, we know that the voltage drop right here is just going to be six, 6 times I is uh, what your VO is. So VO is equal to um, 6 times I. And it should actually be so he goes minus, we're saying it goes this way, so it should be minus VO is 6 times I. So basically, VO is going to equal to minus 6 times I. Alright, so basically we can plug this into here. Uh, minus 6 times minus 2 is 12, so we got 16 plus 12I is equal to 10I. And then we got 10 minus 12i, so you got 16 is equal to minus 2i. That means i is equal to minus 8 amps. Uh, like I've been saying before, that doesn't mean that we have minus 8 amps. It just means that we chose for the current to go in this direction and arbitrarily, and we were wrong. So let's fix that. The current actually goes in this direction, and that's i. All right, so now we know that the current is minus 8 amps. Um, so VO is, we already said VO is right here. So we got minus 6 times <clears throat> minus 8, which is equal to 48 volts. So VO equals 48 volts. All right, so that, that's easy enough. Let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, another way of doing it, which is the voltage divider way. Okay, with the voltage divider, basically you want to choose the node. So like, for example, if this were ground here, you want to choose the node where you want the voltage. For example, VO is this, the VO drop from here to ground. This is VO. This would be VO at this point. So what that means is that uh, we can use something called a voltage divider and in this case since it goes minus plus we know that um, it's going to be minus VO so if this were plus minus we would just put regular VO but it's not it's minus plus so we got to do minus VO and that's going to be equal to all the voltages added together which is 12 uh, plus 4 and then minus 2 VO and then it's going to be all the resistances. So basically, we want this resistance here in the numerator. So it would be 6. 
and then divide it by all the rest of the resistances. So it would be 6 plus 4, which is 10. So you should get 6 tenths here. So here's the 6 plus the 4. So the VO would be what you're dropping against. So basically VO at this point, excuse me, VO at this point would be 6 in the numerator, and then it's just a ratio. So it would be 6 divided by 6 tenths. So 6 ohms out of 10 total ohms is going to be uh, what you're going to do. So with that being said, it's going to look exactly the same. You got 16 times 6 over 10, and then you're going to have uh, 6 tenths, so 12 tenths VO, so you got minus VO uh, plus 12 tenths. So basically that's minus 10 V VO here, minus 10 over 10 plus 12 tenths is equal to 16 times 6 over 10. Uh, tens can cancel here. So then you get uh, minus, so then you have uh, 12 minus 10 is 2, which is equal to 16 times 6. There's a VO here, VO times 2. And then <clears throat> VO is actually equal to 16 times 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 16 times 3, which is 48 volts. So that's, to me, that's the easier way. And then from there, you can basically figure out what the current is uh, pretty pretty easy, because we know that VO is equal to 6 times I. And since it's in the negative direction, like we did before, so if we're saying that the current goes this way, or if it goes this way, so in our case, if we say it's minus 6, that means it's going from the minus to the plus. So we're saying that it goes this way here in this direction. But of course, if it's minus 6, uh, minus, so we got 48 divided by minus 6 is equal to i, which is just equal to negative 8 amps. So same as last time, except for... Uh, just like last time, the current is actually going in this direction in 8 amps, not, not in this direction. So it does not go in that direction. Alright guys, that's all I really wanted to show you. Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys were understanding with dependent sources. They're literally the same exact thing as like a voltage source or a current source. It's just another variable you have to deal with. Uh, using a voltage divider, you didn't really have to solve for one to get the other. Uh, I literally solved for VO without even knowing what the current was. Um, so that being said, please leave your comments below, and I will talk to you guys later.